the book of Isaiah 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Vashin Rashai, Vashim Harakadash, the borders to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and also laboring in this word in truth, love, and sincerity. And may blessings fall upon the houses of the one third. And when we are on the highways and byways, we are crying out loud and we're sparing no one's feelings. Okay? Because the Lord says, uh, be not a respecter of persons, right? It says, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. This is why we speak loud and we speak expressly uh, with the words of Yah Bashim Abishai. And it says, show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. So we are supposed to show our people where they are going off at. Okay? According to the scriptures, according to the scriptures, according to the Bible, we have to show our people where they are going off at. Because our people seem like they have no clue where they're going off at. But it's in the scriptures. That's what we show you. We show you by the word. Okay? We tell you, look, you know, there's a, we have a dietary law. We're not... We are not to eat particular foods. We have to go to the, uh, a particular book, uh, Leviticus 11th chapter, right? That's one of them to show you, look, these are the things you can eat. These are the things you cannot eat. You know? Whatever the case may be, we got to go back to the law, the law, statutes, and commandments and show you, hey, this is what you're not supposed to do. Okay? So we have this. It says what? Show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sin. Now, what is sin? Right. It's the book of First uh, John three, verse four. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law for sin is the transgression of the law. So that's what sin is. Sin is a transgression of the law. Let's go get something in the law real quick, okay? Leviticus 20, verse... We'll start at 10. It says, And the man that, and the man that committed adultery, adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall be put to death. So that's the judgment if you commit adultery. OK, that's something that you're not supposed to do, but that is heavy uh, upon our people, man. All right. That's a part of black and Latino culture. Adultery, man. OK, adultery is heavily pushed, you know, amongst our people. OK, starting with Esau eating the so-called white man which pushes it and uplifts it, but then passes it down to our people so they can continue to um, uh, continue to pass on the torch. So our people can, can what? Continue in sin. So they can continue in wickedness. But we, you know, this is where we come in. We come in, you know, uh, as men, uh, men of the Lord, as prophets to tell you, look, this is not what you're, you're not supposed to be doing this. Okay? And if you continue in this like manner, you are going to die a grievous death the lord is going to judge you harshly man there means there will be no salvation for you if you don't repent and return to the lord you see let's continue on and the man that lies with his father's wife have uncovered his father's nakedness both of them should be put to death their blood should be upon them and if a man lie with his daughter-in-law both of them shall surely be put to death they have rock confusion their blood should be upon them if a man also lie with mankind as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. You see? And that's homosexuality, man. Man lying with a man as he as he's supposed to lie with a woman. See, that's an abomination, man. See, our people are not supposed to carry themselves in that uh that manner, that behavior. Woman on woman. You're not supposed to be doing that, man. OK, and by, and you people will try to make the argument. Well, I don't say that. Hey, nature shows you that. You see, the Lord made a uh, it was what 
I'm Adam and Eve, okay? Male and female, right? For what? For them to for for them to procreate, to multiply children, be uh uh brief uh be fruitful and multiply. You see. So these are things we have to go into and show our people that hey, you're not supposed to be doing these things. You're not supposed to be uh, committing these wicked and sinful acts. And if you are, you need to repent from them. You see. So let's go back to it, Isaiah. 58.1, it says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, sh and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Right? Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. 35, verse 15. Start at 12, it says, then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah, saying, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, go and tell the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, will you not receive instruction to hearken to my words, saith the Lord? The words of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, that he commanded his sons not to drink wine are performed uh, for unto this day they drink none but obey their father's commandment. Notwithstanding, I have spoken unto you, rising early and speaking, but ye have not hearkened unto me. I have sent in, I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now every man from his evil way and amend your doings and go not after gods to serve them. And ye shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers. But ye have not inclined your ear nor hearken unto me. You see. And this is our people today, man. You see, the Lord has is doing it once again because every time, you know, before He uh, destroys a place, He sends His men out. Uh, he sends His men out there on the scene to warn the people, right? But our people don't want to hearken to hearken to the voice of Yahweh You see, because the Lord spake by the prophets. Okay, the same people that's on the street corners preaching and prophesying in the word in the name of Yahweh Shah, the word of Yahweh Shah, you people despise, right? Because according to Esau, Edom, you know, uh, to be a man of the Lord, you got to be a uh, living prosper prosperous. Okay, you got to be someone uh, in the shoes like uh, T D Jakes or Creflo Dollar, Creflo Dollar or someone of that sort, right? Uh, speak with a uh, well elegance of speech, right? And you have to be. Uh, be taught and, and groomed but under the so-called white man, but that's not true. You see, and you people are deceit have been deceived. The men of the Lord, the prophets, are standing before you, right? Standing before your eyes, you know, on the street corners, right? All over the internet, all through the you, all on YouTube. You see, but but you people don't incline your your ears to the word of the Lord. You despise it. You see. The book of Jeremiah 44, verse 4 says, How be it I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. You see? And I just read uh, uh, early in the scriptures, right? Man, uh, men, two men shouldn't lie down to be together, right? A, a, a man shouldn't sleep um, um, uh, with his father's woman. Right, a concubine, or anything of that sort. You see, because that is wicked. Right. Verse five says, "But they hearken not, nor incline their ear to turn from their wickedness to burn no incense unto other gods. Wherefore my fury and my anger was poured forth, and was kindled in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, and they are wasted and desolate." Is at this day, you see, and we say the same because uh, we know that uh, Jerusalem is the people before a place. So, that we telling you that the fury, right, and the anger of Yahweh Shem is about is going to come upon come upon you people and consume you people for your wickedness. Okay, because y'all didn't want to hear the words of the Lord. Y'all didn't want to incline y'all ears, right? Y'all want to continue in y'all wickedness. So the Lord's going to deal with you for it. You see?
contrary to what the so-called white man taught you. He taught you that the Lord was all love and everything was all good and you can do whatever the hell you want. But according to the scriptures, he's wrong, man. Right? And of course he's going to tell you that because he's the devil that the Bible speaks of. He's the, he's the deceiver. You see? It's the book of Jeremiah 11 verse... I'm going to start at... Start at uh, So that's verse 6, it says, Then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant and do them. For I, for I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even to this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. You see? And we tell you, we're giving y'all warning from the Lord, man. This ain't of us. It's from the Lord. Yet they obeyed not nor inclined their ear, but walked everyone in the imagination of their evil heart. Therefore, I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which, which I commanded them to do, but they did them not. You see? So, you know, hey, the Lord's telling you, look, okay, y'all don't want to do what I say, I'm going to jack y'all up. Y'all don't want to obey my voice. This Now, now this is what's going to happen to you. And this is what we, this is what we say uh, to our people that don't want to repent. You see, we tell them that uh, they're going to be destroyed here in America, Babylon, the great. We say, okay, we tell them uh, destruction is now upon them that, you know, hey, if you don't return to the Lord, you may get caught up in a race war, right? You may be thrown in a concentration camp, right? Last but not least, you probably get nuked with a uh, missile shot from another nation. Be looking like someone hanging off the fence uh, like Sarah Connor off the, uh, the movie Terminator. You know, you might die, to, die of a famine. Whatever the case may be, you don't return to the Lord, you're going to be destroyed, man. You want to continue in your evil deeds, death is going to come upon you. It's the book of Zechariah 1, verse 2. It says, The Lord hath been sore displeased with your fathers. Therefore say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye unto me, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. Be not as your fathers, unto whom the former prophets have cried, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye now from your evil ways and from your doings. But they did not hear nor hearken unto me, said the Lord. Your fathers, were, where are they? And their prophets, do they live forever? But my words and my statutes, which I commanded my servants, the prophets, did they not take hold of your fathers? And they returned and said, like as the Lord of hosts thought to do unto us according to our ways and according to our doings, so have he dealt with us. Upon the four and twentieth day of the eleventh month, which is the month of month Sabbat, in the second year of Darius, came came the word of the Lord unto Zechariah, the son of, uh, of Barakiah, the son of Ida, Ida the prophet, saying, uh, Yeah, that's the point on that. Okay, I don't want to go too much, you know. But hey, man, you know, the Lord commanded the servants, the prophets to do what? To tell our people to turn from their they ways and their evil doings, you see? But yet, as you can see, as I continue to read more and more, our people didn't do so, okay? Our people continue to go about uh, in their own way, you see? So hey, yeah, that's the point, okay? You know, uh, if you don't return from your wickedness, you're going to be destroyed. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Holy Scripture, uh, Scriptures. And we're going to continue to what? Uh, go out through there in the highways and byways until the Lord allows it, right? Until he sh uh, st stops our mouths. You see, meaning by like the family of the word, where he don't want his word to go out no more. You know, and we're going to tell our people.